what is up guys welcome back to a new video here on the channel in this video i'll show you how to change the sponsor names of your custom sponsor pack so a few days ago i made a video on how to uh, create your own sponsor pack but that only included the logos and i told you in that video that the um the text editing or the logo uh, or the sponsor names didn't work um that is now fixed i don't even know if it was a problem but i did make a video before that where the text editing didn't work so i thought they patched it because they changed the structure of the the file that we're gonna edit uh it's still the same structure but it works now for some reason i don't understand really but anyways what we're gonna what you're gonna do is download these three requirements we have f model uh ue4 locus and packer and unreal pack so f model uh i showed you guys how to install that in the sponsor logos video so you're gonna have to, i'm not gonna explain it again now just check that video out and install it uh correctly then go and download the locus um unpacker so you just go to where it says releases you click where it says ue4 locus unpacker it will uh, load this and you're gonna go, go down to assets and you're gonna click ue4 locus unpacker.exe put it anywhere you want it doesn't matter and now you're gonna get unreal pack this is i don't really know where this comes from from the beginning but the, uh, i found it at the f1 manager 2023 modding tutorial it's a page on reddit or a post um and uh, yeah the 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 one who posted that posted this with it which is what we're going to use to um to pack our our file again so we can actually make it a dot pack file so just go here and then click this download button in the top right corner and it should download so now what you're going to want to do is open up f model or configure it first of course and then we're going to have f model open you can also extract the unreal pack dot rar and for that you will need winrar or winzip or whatever the tools are called um, you can just Google how to install those. The, that is no problem. But we won't need that yet. Um, what we're going to need to do now is go into F model. Uh, where it says loading mode, you're going to click it and uh, make sure it is all and then click load. Now you're going to have these things here. Ignore this as my project. That's because I have mod, uh, mod installed. It, it doesn't matter at all. Okay. Uh, it might say that for you as well, depending on what you named your sponsor logos project, but you don't need to care about that. Go into F1 Manager 24, Content, Localization, Volta, EN, and here I have two Volta.lockers because I have one from my sponsor mod, and then I have, uh, so I already have mine installed, but ignore that. You're going to have one. Um, it's this one for me. Um, you can double click and then you can actually, uh, it opens this up, but you can't edit anything. So you need to right click it and click export raw data. And you can see here it says .u asset. Don't worry, it's not going to extract as a u asset file. It's going to say in this console here, hopefully if you installed F model correctly, uh, successfully exported volta.lockers. Click the actual file name. And it's going to open in the file explorer like this. Now you're going to locate your UE4 uh, Locris Unpacker. And you're going to want to drag Volta.Locris onto this exe file. So it says open with. And then just click more info, run anyway. You don't need to worry about that. And now you're going to see in the uh, folder where the Volta.Locris is installed. We have volta.txt. So just double click it and it will open in your notepad. You can open it in any notepad. 
okay just so now we have this text document with a lot of stuff like th i think these are all of the possible things uh that could uh, th all uh, possible text that can be in the game and that's a lot to scroll through so what you're gonna want to do instead is control f uh, control f and find is gonna pop up and here it asks you find what um and now it could be quite difficult to actually like maybe you don't even know what sponsors are in the game what generic sponsors already exist because that's what we want to search for uh, i know one which is like my room coin but i don't remember all of them on the top of my head and neither should you i remember i saw this post a few days ago on the f1 manager mods subreddit um and i will link this in the description below because this fantastic guy invader zim actually posted a list of all the sponsors and even with their sponsor category but that doesn't really matter but something you can do um in uh, in game there <laughs> for in game obviously these there are sponsor categories like cryptocurrency fashion energy drinks finance and technology and also manufacturing um and you will only see there are more by the way okay uh but these you only see when you select the sponsors but if you want to make a detailed sponsor pack you might want these to line up with the actual company you're replacing with and then you're gonna have to read and do a bit more uh, in depth on that um and you will have to replace let's say you want to replace you you want to add uh, polo ralph lauren then maybe you want to replace smart art because that's a fashion brand uh, so that's just something to think about but i'm not i'm not going to explain more of that in this video okay um but for this video i will replace i will replace only one sponsor and that i have already decided which is So the thing they changed, I don't know why it is like that. So before the Volta dot uh, Locris file was in quite a good order because all the sponsors were after each other, but now for some reason it is in alphabetical order. So before it was kind of easier because all the sponsors were at each other, um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, so we have about here, however you pronounce it, I don't care right now, actually. And what do we want to replace that with? I think in my sponsor pack that I still have installed, because I have the logos, um, it is Apple TV. So I'm just going to name it Apple TV. So you just um, change its name to Apple TV. And then you click File, Save, or Control S, it doesn't matter. You can also, in here, you can change team names. So let's say we want to change Sauber. We can change their name to Audi. Let's call it Audi, 
Audi Sport, Audi Audi F1 team or something. You can change Red Bull. Uh, just make sure it's not like this because this is an actual description of the team. So when you search, when when you search for, uh, be aware that when you search for it, it will take everything that has these things in it. So just make sure it only say these. I think it should say Oracle Red Bull Racing because I think that's the name of it uh, of the team. So yeah, you can see with these, I was kind of lucky with. Uh, I was kind of lucky with Sauber. Maybe we take Oracle, or if we take Red Bull Racing. I don't actually remember what they're called in game. Red Bull. Then it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna show you guys that the Audi, uh, the Kick Sauber is gonna be called Audi. So yeah, we're gonna save, and then what you're gonna wanna do is take this new Volta.txt, drag it so it says open with UE4 Locris Unpacker, same we did to get the TXT file, and we will get one that's called Volta New. We'll get one that's called Volta New. Locris. So delete Volta.locris and Volta.txt, and rename Volta New to only Volta. Now we're gonna uh, open Unreal Unpack, and you will see it already. We already have some things here. We have this folder, which is amazing. Um, the first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, rename it to whatever you want to call it. On. I'm gonna call it test because I have no idea what I'm gonna call it. So it says pack chunk zero test underscore two underscore p. Only change where it said uh, name your mod. Don't change anything else. Then we're gonna rename this folder to FR Manager 24. Then we're gonna go into content and we're gonna delete all of this. Now create a new folder, name it localization. Actually, you don't even need to do that. Just go here to uh, F model and content localization and just drag it in here. If you don't wanna do that, then the file path should be content localization volta en and then you should have your volta.locris file go back into the unreal pack folder where you actually have uh, these dot pat file and what we're going to use today is uh, unreal pack without compression so take this pack chunk zero folder drag it on unreal pack without compression dot this command window will pop up and just click when it says press any key to continue, just press enter. And now you'll see a new file here, which is packchunk zero test p dot p k dot underscore p dot p a k. You're gonna drag and drop that into your uh <sighs> sorry, I should explain this first. Open up your uh, F1 manager twenty four game folder. If you don't know how to open game folders, it's a simple Google away, okay? And if you watch the logos editing video for sponsors, you know it anyways. Uh, so it will open like this. You wanna go, you, you're gonna wanna go into F1 Manager 24, content packs, and just drag and drop it in here. Now we're done. And you have hopefully successfully change the names of uh, the generic sponsors in F1 Manager 24. But we have to check if it works, right? So I'll see you guys in game. So we are now in game. And here you can see my, my own custom team and my own custom livery. So the funny thing with my custom team is that I AI generated it. So I asked ChatGPT to give me um, a name of the racing team and also a prompt for a image generating ai to create a logo and it created this one and that gave me colors and stuff and yeah that's quite interesting but 
Um, yeah, here you can see some of the logos from my sponsor pack. But what you, you're going to want to do is go to create a team and create a new team. Or it, you don't actually need to create a new team. Don't create a new team if you have the sponsor selection. But if you want to check if it works, you need to create a new team. Then just go through these. They don't matter at all. Or actually, they kind of matter because some... No, it doesn't matter to check, okay? But it matters because the sponsors may not appear um, here. If um, the sponsors may not appear... Um, the sponsors uh, that you can select depends on uh, how good your team is. And here we have some of these. And then here you can see Apple TV. Amazing, right? And then we're going to confirm the sponsor package. And we're not going to change anything more. And we're going to go into the standings. And what do we have here? Oh, we have Audi F1 team. So that's how you also change uh, team names. If you want to do that. But yeah. Now we know that the editing of... Uh, the texts in game or yeah text editing in game works meaning you can create your own sponsor pack with custom sponsor logos thanks to my previous video and now you can change names of the sponsors thanks to this video i would appreciate if you guys left a like on this video it helps a lot if you have any questions leave them in the comments if you have any suggestions for videos or something you want help with, leave it in the comments. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.